Welcome back to my channel everyone and you're locked in today with Essential Mountain Tracks and I brought you back so we can have a look at this custom built Trek 5 Maryland e-bike. It's got a rear wheel motor hub, it's 350 watts, 36 volts. You've actually seen this featured on the channel before. I built this almost three years ago now and it's still working, super impressive. But we're going to have a quick rundown today of any parts that I've replaced. We're going to have a look at if it's still got the power in that rear wheel to get up them MTB tracks. Let's go. Essential Mountain Tracks Okay, so just quickly before we get on this trail I want to give you a rundown of the part I most frequently change on this bike And yeah, of course, you guessed it, it's the disc brakes Especially on the back wheel It's not so bad on the front But the back, I must change them a couple of times every six months And then the second thing I'm finding myself changing quite often Is the back tyre that's obviously due to wear and tear. This bike's a lot more heavier than it would be if it didn't have an e-bike conversion kit on it. So you're going to go through stuff like that way more quicker. Now, let's get on these trails. Right, we're on the trail now. I'm going to start off pedalling. You should be able to hear when the motor kicks in. A lot of mud that. But yeah, there's um, another little hill just up here that's a lot steeper than this one. And we're going to go up that and I'm going to show you how good this motor still works. There you go, motor's kicked and you can leave it now. Ah, here we are at the hill. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to pedal first and then I'm going to use the thumb throttle. I'll let you know when I've changed over to the thumb throttle. But just for a quick note, this bike is three years old. It's got the original battery and the original motor hub still. This battery can do eight miles on the thumb throttle alone without pedaling. It's actually really good. Let's do this hill. Pedaling to begin with. Gonna use the thumb throttle now. And as you guys can see, it starts off straight away. No lack of power, no nothing like that. Look how easily it's doing this hill. This is proper steep. I know you can't see it with the GoPro, but it is. It's really, really, really steep. And this bike just pops up at no bother. But I do think I have a flat wheel now. Let me look. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. Right, just quickly whilst we're here, I want to tell you about something else I had to replace on the bike. So I actually had to replace the thumb throttle about this time last year. Now, it was a roasting hot summer's day and I think it just got weaker through it getting hotter and it snapped in half. It didn't affect the function of the bike, it still worked. It was just that plastic part there where you put your thumb on that snapped. After I replaced that, everything was all good again. That was about £7 and I actually got two of them, so I wasn't that upset. But just quickly, right, I want to tell you something always makes me be like, wow, this bike cost about £1,200 and so far I've done about 1,100 miles on it at least. Now if you do the maths on that, it's probably about a pound ten a mile. How awesome is that? Okay, so we're here. This is the beginning of a little downhill trail. I haven't read it for ages, so I'm hoping it's completely clear. Let's have a look. Okay, so another thing I constantly get asked about e-bikes, is it okay to take them to jump parks or downhill trails? I wouldn't take my bike to a jump park, not a custom built e-bike. You'll probably just break it, but you're absolutely fine to take them to downhills. If anything, I'd advise it, especially for the older generation who haven't got the mobility like us. It's amazing. Try it. You'll love it. Get a bit of speed now. Up here. Big pedal. Feel that motor working. So far, so good. All clear. Can I 
the left. Whew. That was nice. A little break in. Duck under these trees. And into the right. Whew. off my bike then. Felt good. Whew, that was close. Whew. I'm happy about that and there you have it a little downhill trail on a custom built e-bike you're absolutely fine to do it just use your common sense safety is paramount every time I appreciate you all watching the channel please drop a like, subscribe, share all of that good stuff peace, see you on the next one